This video will give examples of careers in precious metals using statistical analysis, physics, and analytical chemistry. There are over 200 analytical techniques used to determine precious metal concentrations in materials. The accuracy and precision of each method differs significantly, as does the time and cost involved to perform them. Methods range from classical wet chemistry to fire assay and instrumental analysis. Our prior videos discussed the importance of proper sampling, instrumental analysis, and fire assay methods. The remaining set of analytical techniques fall under the general term wet chemistry. Wet chemistry includes classical analytical chemistry techniques including dissolution, titration, and gravimetric analysis. Although wet chemistry methods generally require a number of steps, they're more accurate and precise than instrumental analysis for higher concentration materials. The sample for analysis is first dissolved if it is not already in solution. Different chemicals are used which depend on the combination of elements present. This is also the method used to selectively separate and isolate elements. For example, silver gold beads from fire assay cupellation are placed in nitric acid to dissolve the silver, leaving a gold bead. After separation steps, the solutions can be analyzed by either wet chemistry or instrumental methods. Solutions containing trace elements and low concentrations typically move on to instrumental analysis techniques such as ICP-OES or ICP-MS. One traditional wet chemistry approach is called titration. Titrations involve the addition of liquid reactants in solution to the analyte containing chemical indicating reagents until there is a color change which indicates that the reaction is complete. The amount of reactant needed is used to calculate the amount of precious metal in solution. Gravimetric analysis with precipitation is the most widely used wet chemistry method for precious metals. As with refining, precipitation is a key step to selectively separate elements using various chemicals. An example of this is the addition of chloride containing solution, such as hydrochloric acid, to a dilute nitric acid solution of silver. The highly insoluble silver chloride readily precipitates from the solution. The precipitated material is then removed by filtration, washed, dried, and weighed to determine the mass. Gravimetric is an adjective which means of or relating to the measurement of weight. Gravimetric analysis is therefore the term used in these processes as the mass of the precipitant is compared to the mass of the sample to determine the percentage of metal present. Gravimetric analysis is highly accurate and preferred over instrumental analysis for precious metal concentrations in excess of 5%. The trade-offs between the methods are generally time and cost versus accuracy of results. Gravimetric analysis sometimes requires lengthy steps to separate various elements in a sample. Instrumental analysis, on the other hand, typically avoids these steps, but may require the preparation of numerous reference standards. There are numerous chemicals used to precipitate precious metals to compounds or directly to their metallic form. Silver uses chlorides and bromides to precipitate silver chloride and silver bromide. Gold can be precipitated from solution using sulfur dioxide gas as a reductant to produce metallic gold. Other reductants used for gold precipitation include hydrazine hydrochloride and oxalic acid. Platinum is typically precipitated with ammonia and hydrochloric acid to produce a platinum ammonium chloride, which is a yellow crystalline compound. It is then dried and ignited to weigh the resulting platinum sponge. Palladium has been precipitated for over 90 years using dimethylglyoxine, DMG. The other platinum group metals require very complex chemical reactions. The separation of rhodium and iridium, for example, is very difficult, so they are typically precipitated together, and then instrumental methods are used to determine their relative amounts. The precious metal analysis process is like a small-scale precious metal refining operation as numerous steps and combinations of techniques are used. The objective of refining is to separate and economically recover precious metals, whereas analysis is performed to separate and precisely identify them. The continuing advancement of these many scientific processes support the important world of precious metals, technology, and business. The International Precious Metals Institute promotes the education and advancement of precious metals technology and business. 
IPMI is an international association of companies committed to providing technical resources and educational materials, including a series of videos presenting examples of precious metal applications and a variety of interesting and rewarding career opportunities.